Alrighty, oh my god, I'm so excited to do this video. Anyways, right before the video starts, I just want to remind you guys that we have some three new merch concepts that released. Uh, they are beasts inspired by Canada's Wonderland's rides. Um, so go on over to amusementinsiders.com um, and check them out if you want to order anything. And even if not, that's totally okay, but I just wanted to remind them I'm going to do this every other video or at least a video every other couple weeks just to remind everyone. Anyways, thanks so much for the people who have done orders already. We've done two shipments out. Um, so uh, we're getting ready for a third shipment. So if you want to order, order anytime in the next week and we'll get you out next weekend. Anyways, here comes my update. So um, the beautiful thing about uh, running a theme park YouTube channel, and I'm sure some of the bigger channels can even attest to this, is sometimes you get access to news that not everyone has access to. So we have the beautiful opportunity with working with different attractions and different uh, theme parks in Canada. And um, I guess before I start this video, I do want to stress that none of this information has come from Canada's Wonderland. Um, we are receiving this from other attractions that we're not going to name at the current moment. Um, but there are two attractions in Ontario that have reached out to us over the last couple days with specific plans. Um, specifically after my rant yesterday on Instagram, if any of you saw. So I'll start off with the news. So uh, many of us jumped to the conclusion, along with me, that with the announcement of the CNE closure... Um, for the year, that that might be bad news for parks like Canada's Wonderland. Well, it was informed um, and instructed to me that that was solely a decision by Toronto. So the reason the CNE can't operate is because all events um, and fair permits for the City of Toronto were declined by the City and the Health Board. That does not affect businesses... Um, that own their own property. So Wonderland doesn't need a permit, Marineland doesn't need a permit, water parks don't need a permit to operate. With that being said, it has been instructed to me that theme parks in Ontario have the green light to open at the end of June or beginning of July. I have heard um, end of June, beginning of July from one group of people, and I have heard first week of July from another. Both of those add up. Um, that is, of course, with the understanding, as it has been instructed to me, that there is no fourth wave and the number of vaccinations continue to go up and continue at the pace that they're currently at. We have seen also with today's news releases that Doug Ford is looking to open Ontario up as soon as possible with the news as say, uh, quoting very, very soon. Um, it, uh, that you could read on Narcity, CP24 even has uh, an article about it. So it's very exciting times. Um, and yesterday I just got to a really negative place because it was reminding me of last year where we were getting hope, you know. Um, and this is the downside of running a theme park channel that I'm sure other channels can relate to a lot is sometimes when you rely on ride ops as sources, you get a lot of information that's a little staggered and missing a lot of pieces in the middle. So for example, a lot of you may remember last year, we'd be like, oh, Canada's Wonderland, there's lots of good signs um, for it opening because employees are riding the roller coasters, because employees are testing or are being trained. And you know, oh, that's a fair assumption to make. Anyone would assume if you see ride ops being trained at Wonderland or riding the roller coasters that they're getting close to opening. And that was a mistake on our part. The information that we have received yesterday and today is very trustworthy um, and extremely reliable, especially matching it up with news sources that have come out today um, quoting Doug Ford and his intentions moving forward. It does make sense that any outdoor activity um, is allowed to operate with masks and social distancing and uh, uh, cleanliness standards. So we do expect that summer camps, theme parks, water parks, um, Oh boy, uh, golf courses, recreational activities, campsites, they're all going to be opening up um, mid to early Ju uh, July is what we're hearing. Anyway, super exciting news that I just wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to go over everything. Obviously, this is under the impression that uh, there's not going to be a fourth wave and that things keep trending in the right direction. So um, with that being said, I'm wondering if I'm missing any of the information that we discovered today. I'm not sure. 
I don't think so. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or if you have anything you want to say, and I'll try and respond or debate anyone that wants to talk about it. Um, but nonetheless, keep your hopes up. Things are opening soon. And theme parks in Ontario most likely will be opening up the last week of July, June or first week of July around Canada Day. Now, you have heard we have been talking about Canada Day as a speculation for theme parks opening for quite some time now. Um, and we're going to stick to that, especially with this recent um, sources and uh, news that we're hearing. But yeah, nonetheless, super exciting. So excited for what 2021 holds for us. We seem to be a year behind the United States. Now we're going to open theme parks with strict guidelines and rules, masks on roller coasters and such. And then next year, you'll see um, our theme parks and uh, province probably loosening those. So definitely seem to be a year behind. But nonetheless, it looks like you'll be able to ride a roller coaster anytime soon. Some parks are ready to open already in Ontario as soon as they announce um, that they're able to do so. So you'll see some parks open up before Canada's Wonderland is our prediction. We think that Canada's Wonderland will be one of the last theme parks to open just because they've been using the time to relax um, and uh, sit uh, more ready than they typically are, but they still have a lot of work. Mindbuster still got to get ready. The roller coaster still got to test, get ready, and then they got to train. Um, so they're definitely a little farther behind than other theme parks or water parks or attractions in Ontario. Nonetheless, La Ronde will be opening up next weekend, this weekend coming now. Um, and the minute the border restrictions are lifted, we will be there. We were supposed to be there uh, this weekend coming. We were going to um, head there. Uh, a couple of people on our team are from Quebec. My family is half from Quebec, so we were going to risk it. But then we decided we'll wait until the border restrictions lifted and do our part. Um, even though, yeah, we're a little sick of uh, lockdowns and stuff like that. But we'll wait a little longer. Uh, but we are going somewhere this weekend that we're really excited about. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. And, um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully you had an amazing weekend. And hopefully this uh, calms anyone down with the negative news that we heard about the CNE yesterday. Have a good one, guys. Bye.